called Doll Rag, and it is available. Come on. <laughs> it's available for you to download onto the site. And so what I suggest you do is make sure you have a... Yeah, so what I suggest you do is just cut out as I am all these little patterns. So I'm going to go ahead and, and do this and then I will be back. But make sure you cut them all and you know it's alright if you leave a little space you know, a few little spaces and then see how I'm trimming them up. Okay, now I'm going to take the body and I'm going to sew the butt area. See how where it says sew on, you have to look at the stitch. You just sew from the... Let's see. You know what? I would put a little mark, like line up your fabric where it says sew and add a little just a little mark up to where you need to cut oh, that's the wrong side oh great <laughs> a little this mark the body cut I've got my little mark there and I'm just gonna sew down don't forget to back stitch Ooh, I made an ugly backstitch. Anyway. And then sew the butt. Up to where you marked. Now backstitch. Doesn't like the backstitch. You should be able to open it up like this, almost like a heart. Okay, I'm just going to quickly line this up where it said so and everything. And I'm going to make a line. And remember, this is going to be the outside of, this is going to be the inside, so we're not going to see this. And I'm going to make a line where it says open back so that I know that's an open back and I might even write open back on there open back and then um, it's uh, I'm gonna make dotted lines where it wants me to sew here okay yep Along this side, there's two dots that says arm. So I'm going to line it up exactly where it says. I'm going to make a dot there and a dot there. And I'm just going to write arm. Then, then it has a dot here and a dot here. And it says leg. Just so we can remember that's where a leg goes then it has uh, right here it says cut you know you want to make this uh, and it says so open back okay there goes a leg cut. that's only one leg to cut don't be afraid to write it down write it on there what I'm doing. So here we go. Now I'm gonna cut. It's only like gonna be like maybe ten stitches. Oh, that's just my reverse button. Which oh no, it isn't. That's my up or down button. I usually use my Bernina now, and so okay. So let's do that and. Nope, that's the wrong button. Hit reverse. Okay. So now that part is sewn. Now we've got an open back. Now turn it around. There's the open back. 
right there. Here it, it's starting to come to pot, but it's not quite there yet. But you see how when you turn it inside out? Okay, now it's saying, put an arm here. Okay. Now well, here's my arm pattern. So we need to follow the directions, you know. It says cut there and then it says a stuff line. So there's the stuff line. Here it says sew. And then it says cut two. So let's make sure we do that to both of them. I want two arms facing the opposite way. So we're just gonna put the line like that and then we're gonna you know do the opposite. And so we will sew on this side. So see? So you're sewing you know when it I'm gonna pin them in the middle. So that they look like this. Remember, you need the stuff lines. I didn't bring my stuffing. <laughs> oh. Okay, stuff lines. And when I turn it inside out and then stuff it, you know. <laughs> I'm a little tired today. I don't know if you could tell, and I'm sorry to say it, but my daughter's kept me busy so that's the stuff line so you go on the opposites and you just go around make sure everything's together you could trim it up after A little hard to get around this corner. Let's go down. My hands might look a little funky. It's alright. I just backed up because I skipped that little corner and I didn't want to so I tried to just back up so I didn't have to redo it. Yay! One arm! One arm! Don't forget to back up, backtrack, and come back up. Just go along the sides of the leg. Hmm. Go down. I'm kind of slacking on the leg here. Remember to leave the sole open. When you hear the beep, it's just me repositioning the needle up or down. And I'm just going to leave backtrack. Oops, that wasn't a backtrack. No, that was a needle down. No, that was a backtrack. <laughs> okay. 
<laughs> I'm doing all right. Need a lot. <laughs> laughing at myself, girls. You know I'm tired. I'm laughing at myself. I'm just trimming the thread so I don't sew it into the other side. Now I'm going to start on the other side now. Remember I just trimmed down this side, left the bottom open for the sole, and then I'm going to trim the other side. I mean, so. Backtrack. Better remind myself. Whoa. Don't backtrack it too hard. I want to do the other one before I go to bed, too. So I don't know how much time I'm going to have tomorrow. And I want to get my son in. Go very slow so you can curve it. And then backtrack. Okay. <laughs> okay. So I went down the sides. Come on. Down the sides. All the way down. And I left the o opening on top because that's where you need to stuff it. And down on the bottom because that's on the bottom here is where the sole goes, see? You gotta add the bottom. And this is where you stuff it in. We'll get through this. Okay. So I'm gonna start on the dot. There it is. Backtrack. Now, what I'm cutting right now is, what I'm doing right now is the head front, so it's very important that we follow precisely the lines. So I'm going to go a little slower right here, it's just straight, so I can go a little faster, and then we want to point for the nose, point, point. So we want to make sure, okay, and then we go down. Don't forget to backtrack. <laughs> gotta say it, gotta say it. It's gonna be in your head, and I forgot. So do you see those lines? around here, down here, down here. Okay. Down. Backtrack. I know, you're probably tired of hearing that. Up to the center. Remember, right now, because it's big, but when we go around, you want to go slow because you don't want to point on your head. You know, this is the back of the head, which does not need a point. And you know what? I'm telling myself what I am telling you. <laughs> okay. Backtrack. Oh, didn't do it. My fault. My bad. I hit the wrong thing. Okay. So, this is what you do. You sew. Sorry. Oops. You're sewing up and around here and around here. Okay, now and I matched the back seam and the side seams together. There's, there's only one way where you can put 
two lines together and sew it together. Looks like that's the way it should be. And down. Okay. Well, last night when I was doing this, I was so exhausted. I don't know how I did it as much as I did. <laughs> ah. Okay. Bag tag. So that's probably why I was kind of silly. is up completely down just follow I don't know if I want to add ears but if I do I'll just unpick that one side for the ears but those are my big ears so, right now you should have if you sewed along with me I'll cut the string after two arms going left and right a body two legs up, going left and right Two, the probably only need one of these, but there's two bottoms of the feet. Put that where it needs to go. There should be a head. And there it is. Two feet, a body, two ears, two arms. Yay! Okay. So what we're going to do now is we're just going to get ready to stuff it, right? So we're going to turn everything inside out. And I'm just going to use my, whoops, that's my, I have one of those. Ah, of course I pulled the top right off. One of these, and I love it. So we're going to be twisting these inside out, right? So they're going this way. I used to have one of those things that you grab and twist it inside out but I don't know what happened to it so I'm just kind of 
do it like this. Get it all stuffed in there. Get my handy dandy paintbrush so and pull it through. Don't want to break it. So, oh, and of course, what I say, oh, you don't want to break it, and then I, I break it. Gotta redo it. Shooty shoot. Don't do what I do. I pulled the. Gotta sew one part of it right there because I poked it through. So turn them all inside out and try not to poke anything through. <laughs> okay, this is my third attempt. Because <laughs> this one I did too close to the edges. I don't. I'm just turning it inside out. But I uh, got a bigger brush so that the edges are not so pointy. I just get a little bit out of time. It's going to take a little time. You know, these dolls are smaller. They're cute, though. Let's see if I can pull it out a little bit more like that. I'm going to use this. That. The. See, I knew when I did it right, I'd have a little hard time getting it through. This is the foot. I'm going to slowly. I had a thing with a um, hook at the end. It made turning clothes and bias and all that so much easier. But of course, I don't know what I did with it or if I borrowed it. Could have been my mother in law's. And she let me use it or showed me at her house or I forget. Yay! The things that I get excited for. One leg or arm. And that's the arm. Turned inside out, even edges. That's what I like. So I just wanted you to see me struggle through one, not all of them. But have fun. Remember, we're all doing this. Before, before you start turning over the legs, um, you need to sew this bottom of it on. And I'm sorry if you already did. So basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pin it around on here. Yeah, let me move this. I'm going to take this and pin this there. I need to pin it so that it's uh, sewable. So see how I pinned that there. Then I'm going to Yeah, I turned this whole thing around and did my bleep, 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 bleep. Then I was done. And now it's time to sew. <laughs> so I'm just going to add two 
see how that's like that and just go around it like sew it flat down so I'm gonna whoops sorry I was kind of dreading this part make sure you sew it over enough so that it clings so you're not worried about when you turn it around that it undoes itself you don't want it to undo itself come on you can do it yes you can come on come on go down oh okay. Then I'm going to go do this twice because everything I suggest you just do it twice so that as you're doing it, take the pin out and then I'll show you how it should look and how it should not look and if it's how it shouldn't be looking. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I want that to be on my side, so I'm kind of going around twice again. Try to stay on the line because you don't want it to have a messy, messy around the edges are the hardest part. You know, like where the edges of the seam is that you're trying to sew. Okay, yay! So I'll show you how it should look. See the bottom? The bottom of the feet. See how I, I did it flat? See the circle? Whoop! Okay, zoom. See? It's having trouble. Zooming, zoom! There we go. See, you yell at it, and it works. They sent me some Fisketeers scissors in the mail. I was number 8,000. Can you believe that? So, do the both sides like this. And then just turn it around, and whatever it is, it is, and... And then that's the way it's going to have to be. Because <laughs> um, now I'm trying to turn this one over, see? Which I just went on mixed media and promised everyone a video tomorrow. So I thought, oh, I've got to turn this inside out because I, I did that with the other one too, you know? I had to do these legs several times, so you know. So if you have to do it several times, you're right with Yay. me. Yay! Arm one. Arm two. Foot one. See how it's opened on the butt? Oh, that's good. Foot two two ears which I'm not sure if I want to put them on because then they look kind of like 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 a teddy bear and I don't want a teddy bear and a body so this is arm one so I've got to put the arm through here and well that's leg <laughs> Oh my goodness, did I make a teddy bear? Hope not. So, if so, this is going to be one scrawny teddy bear. You know. Let's see how this is going to come out. Maybe it is supposed to be a open back. You know, arm and arm. 
Well, that kind of didn't. Leg and leg. And then head. See? Kind of cute. This had to sew, and this says back open. Huh. Unless. This is the back. You do need the other body. Body cut too. Hmm. All right. Now I've got a a visual of somewhat. I need to figure out what we're gonna do with body. I gave you the pad, and but. A to be back. Well, when you do it like this, it kind of looks like a spider. So, <laughs> I'm not making more legs. Oh, Make sure you put the legs down more. Gotta yeah, legs down. I want the arms a bit shorter. What? You say you're going to give me those headphones? Okay. Ask Daddy. Okay. Says arm needs to go up here, but I don't want my arms that long. And so I'm going to cut my arms. Because <laughs> those are mighty long arms. So I'm going to cut them. How about right there. So I cut about that much off. That way I have room and it doesn't look so much like a spider. I'm just going to make the pattern work. I have it sewn where the arm needs to go there, so I need to unsew it a bit. Then I have the arms go up this way, and then, then there. That's better. <laughs> here's where it arms. says open back, right on the other side of the arm. That's where I'm going to put my arm. I'm going to stuff everything. I'm going to put my legs down here lower than where it says legs, a little lower. And then to me that might just work. And then I'm going to put the head up here. The other way with the arms so wide, it'll look like a spider. Now we don't want spiders. So I am going to like crumple up the top so when you're filling it leave some room on top for it to crumple then I'm gonna put buttons there but anyway right now you the, basically your doll after you trimmed it after you did everything should look like this if you want um, I think it was a teddy bear maybe I don't know but if I add more body, then I think it's going to be way too much body. So I'm not going to do that. I'm going to improvise. So I'm going to, you know, make my dolls and squeeze them up on the top like that and shove them in. Then I'm going to do the same with the arms. I'm going to stuff them, squeeze them on top, shove them in. Stuff them, squeeze them off, shove them in. It's good that we made a little extra because it doesn't hurt, you know to have it the way you want and with the head I'll show you how to do that of course so um, right now I'm just going to take you through the process of assembling your doll so stuff it <laughs> first time I could say it on 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 one of my vi videos just stuff it okay I have <laughs> so far one leg two leg 
one arm stuffed and so this is my last arm to stuff and I have some quilters batter that um, some extra like whenever I I have odds and ends I normally just keep them and so I'm just stuffing the quilters batter in the hole of the arm And then stuff it in with my paintbrush. I'm just putting it through. So I'm just going to show you this one stuffed. How to stuff it, I mean. And then. I'm sure pretty of you, but some people like to buy certain different things to stuff it, but this is what I have, so this is what I'm going to use. Because I, like I said, when I have a small bit, I save it, because sometimes I like to um, make quilt squares and then just atta attach them together squares kind of like rag quilts and stuff and so I use the odds and end pieces for my rag my rag quilts which I love to do I haven't made one in a while though This is just a paintbrush. Cheap. I, I buy all my paintbrushes cheaply unless they're my oil paint brushes. I keep my oil painting paintbrushes separate from my acrylic acrylic paintbrushes and watercolors because the acrylic's pretty rough on the paintbrushes. So the real nice ones like the Bob Ross paintbrushes and stuff there with my oil painting. So these ones are just whatever I use them for my Mod Podge. And this way I know it's stuffed really well. I'm thinking I might want to have gloves on my girl. Not sure though. But right now I'm just showing you how to put together the doll itself so we can get you started. And then I'll show you some other ways to like do the hair. right now it's just all doll and this is just muslin you can use whatever fabric you want I'm not gonna you know if you want to use flannel use flannel whatever you want just remember it's got to be able to take some abuse because you are stuffing this fabric in Whew had one of those days today, you know. Well, I should say the kids had one of those days. All three of them. <laughs> so I'm grateful to have some time to myself. I do have to say the hardest part of this doll was is turning it inside out because I realized I missed some things and so really look at you stitching before you turn it inside out so that you don't have to 
do as much work and turn it on both sides and really look at the stitching because it looked really fine on one side and then on the back side there was some that was missed so I had to go over it and I must have turned these inside out about five times and let me tell you by the well really three times I'm exaggerating but <laughs> by the time I got to the third time I literally just wanted to add my own hair to this doll <laughs> because I pulled it out you know <laughs> anyway it was fun though I was fine with it I just told myself just enjoy put it down if you get frustrated with these don't just keep trying to go and go and go just, you know put it down a little bit go do something go eat you know this is supposed to be something good I should listen to my own advice instead I'm like I want to get this video out for for the girls and so I worked through it <laughs> I'd like to do another one after this too uh, it's but I'm going to take my time with this one and make it the way I, I like it you know And I'm doing the body a little different. I mean, do it whatever way you want, but this is the way I'm going to do it. When I work with patterns and stuff, I like to make them my own. So if you think that it's supposed to be a different way, then go ahead and do it the way it's intended to be. We don't have to have it exactly the same unless you really want it so basically I'm just stuffing some cotton down here you could stuff whatever you want in here I want to make sure there's room to so this, you know, you got to leave a little bit of room to twist it, but it's hard to stay twist. Oh, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to add a bit of this liquid stitch. Let me move this aside. Right on the edges in here. So when I twist it, in the edges, it stays twisted. You know, so now I'm going to twist it and I'm going to hold it. And this is just liquid stitch. I use this on one eye scrapbook, but since it's in there, we're going to hold it and let it dry a bit. Well, I want the top to be a little bit. No, I don't want to have to use a but I want to be able to put it right here on the edge as closest to the line as you can and I'm going to stitch it and if it looks retarded it looks retarded once it has a close on it it will be just fine you know what maybe I twisted it and then untwisted it so that it looks like this so it's flat because you don't want it not flat so do that so 
then you put it in here on the line I want it kind of up so you want the leg so that it's facing up not sideways unless you want your legs to go out sideways whatever you prefer this is what I prefer and so that's what I'm going to do and then the leg looks like that and I'm going to put this on the back so let me show you that again I'm going to take my liquid stitch and I'm just going to put it on the inside on the sides of the material or just wherever and then I'm going to twist it and I'm going to let it I'm holding it in my hand see and it's twisted and we'll just hold it there for a little bit and then I'm going to open it and it should be flat and ready to stitch on there like that and so I'm going to fly into where I want to have my leg which is real close to the other leg see and I'm going to stitch it I gotta position it properly and you're not even seeing what I'm doing so I pos positioned it on and now I'm gonna stitch it the way I want it so now I have my doll that looks like this has two legs coming down and so I'm going to do the same see I wrote on the back where I wanted the arms and so I'm going to do the same thing here but since I want this like that I'm going to open it up you don't have to do this li liquid stitch but it makes it stiffen so that it's not hard to do what you want to do. Twist it. Hold it. Because once this is all done and it's on here, undo it. The arm there. That right there. Let me put my cap back on. Then it has, you know, quite a bit so I can grasp on here and sew right down. And, you know, after it's on, you might want to go through with another stitch. But see how the top parts nothing's there I just left it so that I could sew liquid stitch or any kind of fabric glue I'm just putting 
this. Now we're going to twist it because we want to make sure there's enough room to sew it on and hold it. I'm getting excited because it's starting to look like a doll, you know. <laughs> uh, keep twisting, holding, and then when it's flat, it's flat. You see, it's really. Now, I'm just going to put it on the opposite of the other one. I think I'm going to put it down. Just decide whether you want one up, one down. This is how I'm going to do mine. I'm going to have one down and one up. Because I think that's cute. Because I might put something in her hand. I don't know. Now I'm going to back stitch it. Yep. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is just go over each one of these one more time because I don't want it to, to have my daughter playing with this and have it, you know, just fall apart on her. That would be a sad day. She'd be like, Mom, you made this awful doll. And I'll say, Mom doesn't make awful dolls. Okay, now I'm going to just go around. And I'm just going to leave the top open. Okay, so there that is. Oh, up. Now i got to do this side because I didn't do this side. And I'm just going around. I'm sealing it up so I can stuff it. So this doll is going nowhere. I'm just going to go around it one more time because I'm efficient like that. So. And I'm just using a, a medium weight needle. Don't use like a real thin t-shirt needle. A medium weight needle. If you want to use a jean needle, that's fine. I'll help it. Now we're going to... I just went over it a couple times. I'm going to take the string off it. And I did use light pink thread because I, I could have used white thread, but I thought pink. It's a doll for my daughter, so. Now we're just going through and trimming our threads because I just did a lot of stitching there. and Now... It's up to you if you want this doll to have, you know, the next doll I'm going to go into more detail, like the fingers, I'm going to add fingers and all that stuff. But this one is just going to be a basic, simple doll. And for those who didn't think it was that simple, I'm sorry. I'm still trimming using my Fisketeer scissors. Yes, I'm a Fisketeer number 8,000. Can you believe that? There's 8,000 of us. And it says right on there, Fisketeer 8,000. Just got it in the mail today. Okay. Now what I'm going to do... Yes, her legs are kind of. I wanted them to be. I'm gonna go over that a bit, just because I want the leg to look like, like that. And so to make it like that, I'm just gonna stitch it. 
so here we go again. Oh, my needle. I have an automatic needle thing, but I'm too old fashioned. I like to know my eyes still work. When I first got it, I used it all the time, but now I'm going to position her legs the way I want it, and I'm going to sew so that her legs are the way I want it. If you have like one of those um, where you could, it's it's you put it over jeans, like when you have uh, the part where it goes over and it goes up. If you have one of those, go ahead and use it. So now I'm just p positioning the legs the way I want them. And I'm sewing it that way. So I want my legs to look like this. And so I'm going to sew it so that they look like that. go over all of it so it is the way I want it to be. Sewing these dolls is a lot of repetition. But hey. See now the dolls are not sideways and it's straight up and down. And that's the way I wanted it. So I just twisted it as you saw and just sewed over the twist. So to do that, if you want to change your needle, if you don't have a medium weight needle, because if not, your needle is going to break on you. I could like stuff it and then take a needle and make a crack for the butt. But I'm not sure if I want to go that into into details that. <laughs> Okay, I'm liking her, or him, or whatever I decide to make them, or it, I should say, whatever I decide to make it. <sighs> now I'm stuffing the body, and I'm getting excited because it's almost done, well, at least this part is. <laughs> And you know what? If it doesn't come out exactly the way you want it, you know, this is this is my first doll. And I tweaked the pattern, <laughs> as you've seen, so that it will work for me. I didn't use the butt where it's supposed to be, because I don't want a big, fat, fat doll, you know. I, at least, I, well, I don't really care if she's fat in the middle or he... You know, I can make it a bear, make my doll a bear pot. <laughs> or pregnant, or just fat. I can make a big, fat, jolly person. Because fat people are happy people, that's what I hear. So I must be the happiest person in the world. She's coming to par. She's coming. Of course, I'm going to make it a girl. First one's got to be a girl. I'm a girl. And plus, I don't want to have to attach. No, I'm joking. Get it? I won't say it. I'm being naughty. Naughty girl. Naughty, naughty. <laughs> the thing I was thinking, oh. Okay, it's a girl. And I'm stuffing her to the point of, you know, you can make a big fat teddy bear. I think if it was fatter and if you have a different pattern. I, I, I went to the store. I went to Joann's. I went to 
several places and I ended up having to make my own pattern here and tweak it a bit from another pattern because it wasn't exactly what I wanted and you want to stuff this whole thing because you want the neck you definitely want the neck and so I'm just showing you how to make the doll itself and then I'm going to hand stitch the head on I'm going to tuck it under and then hand stitch it because I don't want it to look like Just a little bit more. I want it to feel like a stuffed animal, like the middle of it. <laughs> so, like, Mom made me the hardest stuffed animal in the world. It's not even soft. <sighs> okay. So, here's the head. It's got a little point. We're gonna stuff it in here. You know what, and I think I'm going to add a bit of liquid stitch, and I'm just going to stitch it, use this to stitch it on. I know, lazy, lazy, well, because I don't want, I might use both. Oops. Okay, come on, because I need this to be kind of tough. Right, get in there. I might have stuffed the head too much. The body. You want to stuff it in. And I do have li liquid stitch on here. So I just need to make sure the head's stuffed in well. I am going to stitch it too, but just because it is a doll. So I'm just trying to get it a little rough so that when I, if I decide to stitch it, it's going to be fine. There's some, it's not quite stuck there. Look at my doll. He's so cute. Look at that. <sighs> yeah, I'm probably going to go right through this sewing machine and... No, I'm going to stitch it. I'm not like, oh, I don't want to hand stitch it. 
I'm being a baby. It will just look better hand stitched. I don't want to hand stitch anything. I'm just messing with you. In here, I do have a needle somewhere. <gasps> there it is. Okay, I'm just unfighting my sewing machine. I'm going to use the same pin pink thread as I use the rest. Come on. So just thread your needle, just thread it I'm kind of a little ways away. Yeah, you did it. I don't think I'd be able to. Put a knot at the end. Trim it a bit. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to do the first, first one underneath so that you can't I'm going to go under and pull the first one so that you can't see it. Uh oh. You're not going to believe what happened. The... I already pulled through the knot. Okay, now it'll work. So up and under. When you feel the knot, stop. And so I'm just going to go up. You know, I started the... I just made... See? It's coming up through the inside. Let me see if this will go any further. No, that's as further as it's gonna go. So, because I added the liquid stitch, it just made the um <laughs> the doll a little tougher. And so I'm just going. You see how I'm kind of going in. And then up because I want to form like a neck and so come on be good to me be good to me and then up And you can do it any way you want. This is just the way I want to do it. And yes, you will see the thread. So if you want to do a hidden stitch or whatever you want to do. Hand stitching is not my thing. But sometimes you got to do it. So whatever way you want. But I don't mind seeing a bit of the thread. Not one bit. Because then you could tell it's handmade and reminds me of the scarecrow. <laughs> oh. Anyway, so I'm just going in, in, and then up. in a little um, and 
and I'm going to do that throughout the whole thing in up sometimes a little hand stitching just gives it that special little touch it needs you know The arm got in the way. That's it. So you can do a hitting stitch if you want or a flat stitch. I just want to make sure that this doll head is on. And like I said, the liquid stitch just holds a few pieces in place so that I can stitch it the way I want it. Yeah, I, I think, sorry, I don't worry too much about it not coming out exactly the way I want it at this point. The way I see it is this is just the first layer. And so, once you have everything the way you want it to be, you know, I could, if, if I didn't really like this, I could put how her neck is, I could put a scarf on her. You know, I can do whatever I want. If you wanted to, like, make her an elf, just make a pattern of an elf boy. Elf ears and stick it on her. It's not that hard. I, I'm not trying to tell you this is easy, please. <laughs> Not the easiest thing in the world to make a homemade doll, but you know what? They did it before they had doll companies. People had to make their dolls for their kids by selling them. I'm just going around until the thread is used up. one that just add a little liquid stitch there to glue it down there is like one that wasn't very pulled through and so I don't want it to come up and so I'm going to add a bit of liquid stitch there so that doesn't pull. I'm just trying to get this to go through and so I can add a knot. 
its time. You know, and if yours comes out better than mine, oh, more power to you. I'll be excited to see. Tom! I'm going to kind of... You know what? Maybe I do want to run. I want to twist it a bit. I'm actually going to run it through the machine like that. <laughs> Let's see how it works. Because that's the way I want it. So let's do it. Whoop! No, I can't do it. I don't, it's not. Uh, I forgot. I. I don't have it thread. So I'm gonna do that real quick. Doesn't take long. Like, this is my first machine ever, so it's not up to date on all the. I have a Bernina, but it's. This is the one I do all my artwork on. <laughs> things like that because it's not worth as much hmm. so I'm going to shove this in here and hope for the best if I don't like it I'll just do. I gave her a neck. Just twisted it and sewed through it. You seen it? <laughs> Might do it one more time so that I know it's going to be fine. Just gave it a neck. not easy to get this baby under here though. Oh, it's giving me problems. Say, Mama, I don't like that. Alright, that's as far as it's going to go. It didn't stitch that time. And that's alright. It's too lumpy. Okay. But anyway. Now that just gave it a bit of a skinnier neck. I'm going to turn this down so you could see. Ah, you could see my stuff. My junk. No. <laughs> okay. So right now, that's, th yep, that's the front of it. And our doll part is done. Isn't she cute? And I'll make another video on how to do the face and and add some hair. But the clothes is really going to be your creation. Like I, I want this to be a little bit of a surprise. So I just want to show you how to add some elements on it. But like the hair and, and the face and stuff. But I, we'll see if I show you clothes. <laughs> Depends how much time I have. <laughs> so anyway, my daughter's feeling better. But look at she has a little like cute little and when she's dressed and had a face, I think she's gonna be so adorable. Anyway, thank you for making cloth dolls with me. And I hope that you can come up with some nice dolls yourself. And 
At least I have the first video done. Thank you.